Hello everyone, and welcome to Woolene Design Group's presented Da Vinci Unified Training Videos. Today for our new users, we'll be discussing how to get started with Da Vinci Unified. We'll be going over the login process, selecting a database, how to create warehouses, creating user groups, how to create accounts, and importing data. First, let's show you how to log in. Up at the top, you will notice in the URL, yourcompaniesname.wdgcorp.com. This will be the same case for your account, but won't be as literal as my demonstration. To log in, enter the account ID and password that's been provided for you. Next, you'll want to pick the database. For most new users, databases only available will be the test database and the live production database. After logging in, you'll be directed to the DaVinci Unified dashboard. Now don't panic. The warning at the bottom and the lack of visual dashboard will be solved after some setup time. This is just indicating that you are a new user and in need of a warehouse setup. By the time you've adjusted all your settings and implemented all details, your dashboard should appear a little more like this. In order to remove that warning and make your dashboard look a little nicer, we'll need to create warehouses. Up at the left corner, you will find the Menu tab that provides navigation through filters such as the Warehouse tab. We will discuss how to use this in further detail in other videos. For now, we'll head to Settings and Warehouse Terminal in order to create a warehouse. Here we will locate the Insert button, indicated by the green plus symbol. Now we are in the Warehouse Creation window that only requires three parameters, a description, mode of paper or barcoding, and bonded or unbonded. Once these three parameters are applied, you can save the warehouse and you can come back and edit the rest of the details at any time. Before we continue, I want to provide some terms and examples of business partners to allow a better understanding of the next segment. First, we have the Inventory Owner account. For 3PLs, this can be invoiced for services such as warehouse and transportation. For wholesale and online retail, this is the company or division. Multiple companies and divisions are supported. Next, we have the Customer. This is the Ship2 address business partner followed by the supplier. This is typically used in purchasing or to track down the original manufacturer of the inventory. Here we have the carrier, handling all forms of transportation. And lastly, we have the shipper, the business partner used to represent the company shipping in order when the inventory owner account should not be displayed. All right, now that we're all caught up with the terms, we can begin with the creation of accounts, users, and groups. From the drop-down menu, select Business Partners and then Accounts. Here you will be able to manually input accounts. All you will need is a description and an account ID, and the partner will be able to be saved. Alternatively, you can import account details. Just select Import from the drop-down menu, and in the Import type, select Accounts. There, you can use the templates you've already created just select import. Keep in mind when importing accounts that only the basic details for saving accounts will be imported. You may have to go back and edit the account later when you wish to add more details. All right, now let's talk about creating user groups. In the drop down menu, go to settings, select security, and find user groups. Click insert for creation, then type a description for the user group you wish to create. For this demonstration, I'll provide you with a couple of common examples for user groups.
Okay, now we can create some users. Back to the menu, we'll go to settings and select users. In order to create a new user, you will need to provide an email and password. However, the email doesn't need to be a working email. DaVinci Unified lets you create a fake email used specifically for these accounts. After creating the email, type a brief description and an easy password that can be changed later by the user. Provide the user with a name and don't forget to establish a user group. And be sure to select the warehouses you wish the user to have access to. Before saving the new user, be sure to select the Accounts tab and select an account for the user to be joined with. I only have one demonstration account available, but as you set up more accounts, the page will fill up. Lastly, I want to talk about generating storage locations. In the drop-down menu, find Warehouses and select Storage Locations at the bottom. Here you can manually insert storage locations with their proper parameters, or you can easily import them from the import window. There are two options of import types for storage locations. Simply storage locations or detailed storage locations. And that's all for our getting started tutorial of DaVinci Unified. Be sure to check back with us for more videos that go more in depth on some of these topics. And if you have further questions, be sure to contact our support. Thanks for watching.